My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm kind of hyper fixating on Choi Become Human right now, so I'm gonna yell about it for a hot sec. For those who don't know, the Choi Become Human is a game. It's about robots that basically become human. They have emotions, they have relationships. They basically, they're humans now. But the issue is, is that, is that the robots don't have any humanity. Basically, in the game, one of the characters you play is Marcus, and he goes into a quote-unquote sanctuary for deviants, deviants or robots that have become human, um, and he goes to Jericho, and it is literally a bunch, is 19 robots just sitting in the dark. That's all they're doing. Like, like what the heck? And I'm meant to believe as the player that these are human beings. I honestly, it looks like District 9 in there. Like what it should look like is there should be robots doing like cool stuff. There should be a robot in the fucking corner being like, I learned how to knit and is like knitting something or there's like a robot like painting art or something. They should have hobbies. They should have hobbies, but they have no hobbies. And like the closest thing to any of them have a hobby is North. North throws a ball and I guess you could say she's got a hobby but like it's so fucking dumb compare this to robots in the game called stray stray basically has robots that are meant to mimic humans because they're like they're pre they like came after humans but built by humans and they all have like little quirks and stuff like they all wear cute little clothes they collect stuff and they like tinker on stuff and they have like really cute houses and stuff like there's one that has plants and shit like that should be jericho that game should just be jericho but it doesn't they sit in the fucking dark like crazy people what the hell <laughs> and another thing with marcus marcus is meant to be the one of the main characters like he does has the political sides of stuff but he has the least amount of motion in the whole fucking game oh my god like at the end when you talk to all of your quote-unquote friends like he doesn't even answer josh he talks to josh and then yeah, like josh talks at him and then he just walks away whatever you decide i'm with you marcus what the what and then simon i think it's very similar to simon and then when he talks to north his lover they like have a little hand thing we'll get to that in a second and then when he talks to connor the other main character the best character in the game we love connor he like and connor's like yeah i'm gonna go do this like almost suicide mission he's like oh connor come back come back safe and he like touches him it's like what the f he just met connor and he's acting like connor and him are best friends and like but he doesn't even care about his other quote unquote best friends absolutely ridiculous but let's talk about the other thing so in detroit become human for some reason the robots they have like skin it's basically an illusion and to show affection quote unquote they will remove their skin and touch each other's hands and they can like give memories like that but like oh my god when north and marcus do it in a moment where like he's about to decide the, their fate they do it and they just look they just deadpan look at each other like they don't give a shit and like it's just it's so weird what the fuck it, i'm not convinced they're in love there's a reason why i killed north in my first game gameplay and i've always hated her because she is just an annoying character and marcus is an annoying character there's a poll the game asks you uh, where they ask what your favorite character is and marcus is the least favorable when kara the other character is actually has a worse story but is more liked because marcus is a deadpan machine that has no emotion oh my god oh my oh god, god. Yeah, asking so much. okay so and the other one is kara she basically was at this home with an abusive father and he was abusive to his young daughter and so what Kara does is she becomes deviant to help Alice and basically to get the girl out of the situation and so Alice and Kara form this mother-daughter relationship it's a really good dynamic but the game fucking ruins it spoiler alert by the way guys if you care at the fucking end the game reveals to you that Alice is a robot, which, like, oh my god, what? 
it just it ruins the whole dynamic as well also because in Kara's fucking story the whole time she's trying to get out of america go to canada to fucking i don't know the whole time alice is getting ill she has a fever she's getting more ill she's getting worse and worse Kara's like oh my god if i don't get her to a safe space she might die and then as soon as we learn she's a, a fucking android Ka- alice is like i'm cold Kara." And so Kara presses a little button on her head, and it turns off the ability to feel cold, and Alice is like, I'm perfectly fine. All agency gone from the story. That wasn't even a humanity thing, that was just a dumbass story thing. Because, like, the androids the whole time are like, we want to be free, we want to be free, we're people too. Free to do what, guy? You guys aren't doing anything. You want to be free to stand around doing nothing? And, like, Marcus is like, this ain't freedom. But it's like, you guys aren't doing anything either. Ugh. The the reason why I didn't talk about the third character, Connor, is because Connor is the best thing in the whole game. He's the main reason why anyone played it. Um, he's brilliant. He has this really good dynamic with Hank, which is played by Mr. Krabs. And, uh, they're a joy to to watch and a joy to play through. And honestly, I've played Detroit Become Human, like, five times now. And I've had- I've played through where you're mean to Hank and I hate it. I cried every time. It's so sad. I don't like Hank being angry at me. I want them to be happy in a father-son relationship. They're just so good. And then they hug. Like, they feel like they have a real bond. And, like, Marcus- and Kara are lacking that so much, and it hurts my soul. Thank you. Detroit Become Human is not a perfect game. I sometimes struggle to say it's a good game, but I love it so much. I was really, really into it when it came out in 2018, and I'm back into it now. <laughs> and, um, uh, if you haven't played Detroit Become Human, I would say play it. It's like a 10 hour game. It's really not that long. The main reason why I love Detroit Become Human is there's like 40 different endings. It's got a billion different endings and it's so fun to play through. Um, it's so fun to- okay. <laughs> it's so fun to see what ending you're gonna get. Some of the gameplay is really fucking stale. But, it's a gorgeous game. Play it for Connor. You can kill off Kara and Marcus super early so you can just play as Connor. And it's great. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me yell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.